Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines and the Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. Mahal na Pangulo, nandiyan na po ang tanod pandangal upang lisutin. Bye-bye.
kasama, malugod na pinapabot ng ating mahal na Pangulo na si Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., President, Republic of the Philippines, and Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, ang kanyang tauspusong pasasalamat sa parangal na ginawad natin sa kanya ngayong umaga. Once again, the President of the Republic of the Philippines and the Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. He is accompanied by the Commanding General Philippine Air Force, Lieutenant General Stephen P. Pareño, Philippine Air Force. Please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by the invocation to be led by the Chief Air Chaplain, Colonel Alberto Arkiawit, Chaplain Service, General Staff Corps. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Let us place ourselves in the love and presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-loving Father, we invoke your blessings and fatherly protection upon us gathered here today to celebrate the 76th founding anniversary of the Philippine Air Force. We thank you, Father, for all the favors and graces your infinite goodness has showered upon us and the whole armed forces of the Philippines. With all sincerity, we pray for all the officers, enlisted men and women, civilian employees of the Philippine Air Force and their dependents. Give them always your unfailing protection and guidance as they perform their assigned tasks in pursuit of mission accomplishment. We also pray for our country and our national leaders in all their efforts in building a stable economy and a peaceful society. We also implore your guidance and inspiration on our military leaders and commanders as they perform their mandated mission. And we confidently hope for your divine assistance in all our endeavors in the future. Lastly, we pray particularly for lasting peace and unity among us Filipinos and grant us to be united always under your one fatherly care and protection. 
we commend also in your loving hands our comrades in arms who have fallen asleep already in peace. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine on them forever. May they rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, in a short while, we will be witnessing... An Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed the high-speed opener pass of three FA-50 fighter aircraft, call sign Bulldog, signaling the commencement of the 76th Philippine Air Force Anniversary Celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, good morning. Today, we welcome you all to the commemoration of the 76th founding anniversary of the Philippine Air Force with the team PAF at 76. Accelerating with excellence towards a more capable, credible, and sustainable force. May we now request the Commanding General, Philippine Air Force, Lieutenant General Stephen P. Pareño, Philippine Air Force, to deliver his welcome remarks and anniversary message. Let me first greet His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., the President of the Republic of the Philippines and the Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines. <clears throat> House Speaker Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Representative the 1st District of Leyte. <clears throat> Secretary Gilberto Tudor Jr., Department of National Defense. General Andres Santino, the Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines. The attendees to the PAF 76th founding anniversary, my wife Agnes and the members of my family, distinguished guests whom I will uh, defer to our Commander-in-Chief to acknowledge later. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the 76th founding anniversary of the Philippine Air Force. On behalf of the entire Philippine Air Force, we express our gratitude for your support as we aim to better secure our people and create a better future as the wings of our nation. It was 76 years ago when the Philippine Air Force was established as a separate service of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. This was done in recognition of the indispensable role of air power in the conduct of national defense and security operations. Since then, our organization has stood up to this reputation. Last year, we celebrated our 75th diamond anniversary. From this glorious diamond, your Philippine Air Force has toiled to maintain its luster of excellence by performing our mission with diligence, efficiency, and top-level quality. This year, we aim to shine even brighter and to perform even better. This year's theme speaks of how we shape a better Air Force for the years to come. PAF at 76, accelerating with excellence towards a more capable, credible, and sustainable force. Today, we proclaim our commitment to work towards improving our capability, credibility, and sustainability with emphasis on timelines and quality of work. Reflecting on our journey, we feel with gratitude for the strides we have made towards achieving our goals. Through strategic and sustained investments in technology, infrastructure, and the development of our human resource, our capability has grown. Today, we have a more robust fleet, modern platforms, functional air bases, and well-trained personnel. 
Meanwhile, the use of air power in joint operations and our collaborations with local and international partners have also grown. Proof of our flourishing credibility. And through proactive supply management, asset maintenance, safety, prioritization, and technological innovation, sustainability is now realized and being institutionalized. We are indeed grateful for the bountiful blessings that have allowed us to serve our people and our nation better. These achievements inspire us to strive harder for excellence. We could not have done this without the support and guidance and inspiration of our Air Force family, our partners, stakeholders, and our benevolent leaders, and also the people we serve. In unity lies our strength. Each milestone we reach towards safeguarding our nation is a shared victory. For being our constant guiding light, we thank the Almighty God for leading us throughout these 76 years. Our heartfelt gratitude goes to our President and Commander-in-Chief, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Secretary of National Defense, Secretary Gilberto C. Tudoro Jr., the AFP Chief of Staff, General Andres C. Centino, Philippine Army, the Unified Commands, and other major service commanders, our multi-sectoral governance council, partners, stakeholders, and the Filipino people. My deepest appreciation also extend to all our former commanding generals, former and current officers, enlisted personnel, and civilian human resources whose dedication and service have contributed greatly to these achievements. I would also like to congratulate this year's unit and individual awardees. May your trophy serve to inspire you to continue the good work for our organization. And may this challenge others to emulate the same level of excellence. My heartfelt thanks also goes to everyone who contributed to the success of our pre-anniversary activities and made this celebration a complete success. Friends, partners, and fellow countrymen, we chose this life of service and sacrifice to secure our nation and our skies. We commit to remain focused more than ever to weather the challenges and the pressing tasks of modern times. And with immense pride and gratitude, I invite everyone to see more of what the Philippine Air Force has achieved and plan to achieve. Together, with support from our friends and stakeholders, let us bear witness to our collective efforts and shared victories. In the heart of the Philippines, where heroes are forged and dreams take flight, an unwavering spirit, a legacy of courage, and a symbol of freedom stands tall. 76 years ago, a humble force took to the skies, propelled by a vision of defending the nation and protecting its people. At this time, heading the Air Force into the Philippines, we have an Air Force that can really be dependent on, reliable, and always ready to provide uh, air support in our uh, various mandates. Today, your Philippine Air Force has transformed and adapted to meet new challenges head on. The Philippine Air Force plays a very important role in our overall campaign, especially with our ground operations. From conducting complex military operations with precision and efficiency. And we have respect to our pilots that uh, they are flying a very, very dangerous uh, mission. Many lives were saved and uh, we were able to win the battle. Beyond being a force of defense, your Air Force is also a force of compassion. From providing critical support during disasters locally, the Philippine Air Force provided mobility, 
and they provided multiple sorties throughout the day just to keep those isolated communities uh, supplied with food, with drinking water, and most especially with hope. And even abroad. They were going to Turkey to a very difficult climate. It was the dead of winter. They were selfless, they were eager, they wanted to help. From reaching out to communities, actively participating in nation building, to protecting and guarding our nation's borders. Our two organizations are at the forefront of national defense. There is no doubt that through joint operations, our Air Force has supported all the branches of service of the Armed Forces in performance of uh, our mandate. Our dedication gives us the power to go beyond what we previously thought impossible. Your role has been appreciated in all facets. So, not merely now as a support a service to any other service, but as a main provider, as an essential element of national security. We are proud that in the eyes of those who matter, they see the Philippine Air Force as fast, valiant, steadfast, heroic, growing upwards, best, toughy, determined, dependable, sorry, reliable, always ready, air power. It's been a long and eventful road towards our 76th year, but the journey is what makes us stronger. As we reflect on the past and cherish the present, let us soar higher towards a promising future. Today, writing the story of integrity, service above self, excellence, and professionalism while carrying our nation's hopes and dreams on our wings. As we accelerate the Philippine Air Force with excellence, towards a credible and agile air force, adaptable to modern warfare and responsive to national and regional security and development. United in purpose as the guardians of our precious skies and pillars of hope. Together, our skies look limitless. With the blessings from above and everyone's support, I am confident that we shall be victorious in accelerating with excellence our Philippine Air Force as we stand proud in our 76 years of service. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to direct everyone's attention towards the horizon. As the instructor pilots of the Air Education Training and Doctrines Command form the numbers 7 and 6, representing 76 magnificent years of the Philippine Air Force. And this is formed by 15 Cessna T-41 Mescalero aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to the 76 magnificent years of the Philippine Air Force. Maraming maraming salamat po and to God be all the glory. Thank you, sir. Please be seated. We shall now proceed to the presentation of awards. These awards are being presented to the Philippine Air Force units, officers, enlisted personnel, and civilian human resource personnel for their meritorious and exceptional services rendered to the country and Filipino people. May we request our guest of honor, the President of the Republic of the Philippines and the Commander-in-Chief Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcus Jr. to confer the awards. He will be assisted by the Commanding General, Lieutenant General Stephen P. Pareño, Philippine Air Force. The recipient of Streamer Award for Command Combat, Combat Support Category is Air Mobility Command. To receive the award is the Commander, Major General Giovanni Sonardi B. Di Maano, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, sir. The recipient of the Streamer Award for Command Service Support Category is Air Education Training and Doctrine Command. To receive the award is the Commander, 
Major General Aristotle D. Gonzalez, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Streamer Award for Wing Combat Category is 5th Fighter Wing. To receive the award is the Wing Commander, Brigadier General Leo A. Fontanilla, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Streamer Award for Wing Combat Tactical Operations Wing category is Tactical Operations Wing Central. To receive the award is the Wing Commander, Brigadier General Ramil G. Oloroso, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, sir. The recipient of the Streamer Award for Wing Combat Support Flying Category is 205th Tactical Helicopter Wing. To receive the award is the Wing Commander, Brigadier General Lewalin S. Banaag, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Streamer Award for Wing Combat Support Category is 580th Aircraft Control and Warning Wing. To receive the award is the Wing Commander, Brigadier General Ronnie D. Pitinglay, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Streamer Award for Wing Service Support Category is 410th Maintenance Wing. To receive the award is the Wing Commander, Brigadier General Reynold Arueca, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Streamer Award for Group Combat Support Category is 505th Church and Rescue Group, AMC. To receive the award is the Group Commander, Colonel Nomer G. Tomesa, Philippine Air Force, MNSA. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Streamer Award for Group Service Support category is Philippine Air Force Flying School, AETDC. To receive the award is the Commandant, Colonel Christopher L. Fredeluces, Philippine Air Force General Staff Corps. Thank you, sir. The recipient of the Streamer Award for Group Combat Tactical Operations Group Non-Flying Category is Tactical Operations Group 7 Tau West. To receive the award is the Group Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Isagani F. Kining, Philippine Air Force General Staff Corps. Thank you, sir. The recipient of the Streamer Award for Group Combat Non-Flying Category is 968 Air and Missile Defense Group, ADC. To receive the award is the Group Commander, Colonel Rodolfo N. Mangaya Jr., Philippine Air Force General Staff Corps. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Streamer Award for Group Service Support Center category is Philippine Air Force Human Resource and Management Center. To receive the award is the Commanding Officer, Lieutenant Colonel Robert Wendell N. Austria, Philippine Air Force General Staff Corps. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Streamer Award for Group Service Support Maintenance category is 430th Aircraft Maintenance Group, P Fighter Wing. To receive the award is the Group Commander, Colonel Villamor B. Costales Jr., Philippine Air Force General Staff Corps.
Thank you, sir. The recipient of the Streamer Award for Group Service Support Airbase Category is 538 Airbase Group, AIBDC. To receive the award is the Group Commander, Colonel Cresanto J. Naing, Philippine Air Force General Staff Corps. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Streamer Award for Group Service Support Category is 356 Aviation Engineer Group, 355th AEW. To receive the award is the Group Commander, Colonel Arnel I. Patetico, Philippine Air Force, MNSA. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Philippine Air Force Base of the Year is Basa Air Base. To receive the award is the Group Commander, 540th Air Base Group, Lieutenant Colonel Albin Jan Cugador, Philippine Air Force General Staff Corps. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Ready Reserve Wing of the Year is 3rd Air Force Wing Reserve. To receive the award is the Wing Commander, Brigadier General Nelson P. Coliantes, Philippine Air Force Reserve. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Flight Safety Award Flying Unit Combat Category is 5th Fighter Wing. To receive the award is the Wing Commander, Brigadier General Leo A. Fontanilla, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Flight Safety Award Flying Unit Combat Support Category is 220th Airlift Wing. To receive the award is the Wing Commander, Brigadier General Federico B. Enriquez, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Flight Safety Award, Flying Unit Combat Support Category is 250th Presidential Airlift Wing. To receive the award is the Wing Commander, Brigadier General Aldrin S. Anani, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Flight Safety Award Flying Unit Service Support Category is Philippine Air Force Flying School. To receive the award is the Commandant, Colonel Christopher Alfred Luces, Philippine Air Force MNSA. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Lack of Recognition for Field Grade Officer of the Year is Lieutenant Colonel Gino Antonio U. Benavides, Officer-15466, Philippine Air Force, from the 900 Air Force Weather Group. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Lack of Recognition for Company Grade Officer of the Year is Captain Jezebel D. Sarmiento, Officer-148189, Philippine Air Force, from the 900 Air Force Weather Group. Thank you, ma'am. The recipient of the Plaque of Recognition for Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year is Technical Sergeant Luther P. Mello, A30408, Philippine Air Force, from the 505th Search and Rescue Group. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Plaque of Recognition for Airman of the Year is Airman First Class Charles Byron L. De La Cruz, 923134 Philippine Air Force, from 950th Cyberspace and Electronic Warfare Wing. Thank you, sir. The recipient of Plaque of Recognition for Civilian Human Resource Supervisor of the Year is Mr. Joas Carl V. Cruz, Civilian Human Resource, from 958 Cyberspace and Electronic Warfare Wing.
Thank you, sir. The recipient of the plaque of recognition for Civilian Human Resource Employee of the Year is Engineer Ruel Pilizaso, Civilian Human Resource from the Air Force Research and Development Center. Thank you, sirs, and congratulations to all our awardees. You may now return to your seats. May we now request Secretary Gilberto Cichodoro, Jr., Department of National Defense, to introduce our guest of honor and speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of our Republic, and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Thank you uh, for your kind introduction. Our uh, Defense Secretary, Secretary uh, Gilbert Chudoro, please uh, take your seat. Uh, also joining us today is House Speaker, uh, Speaker Martin Romualdez. The Armed Forces of the Philippines, Chief of Staff, General Andy Centino, and also the other uh, major service commanders who have uh, joined us for today's uh, uh, commemoration. Distinguished guests, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's a great honor to be with you today as we commemorate the 76 strong years of selfless duty to the country by the Philippine Air Force. We look back today on a very rich history of our Air Force, which can be traced to the First World War when military aviation was first introduced here in our country. The dedication and sacrifice of all the personnel has demonstrated throughout history that has paved the way for the PAF's growth and success over the last 76 years. We stand today to recognize the outstanding PAF officers, members, and units who have shown exemplary dedication to securing our nation and defending our skies. We have contributed in laying the groundwork for the enhancement of our aerial defense capabilities. So on behalf of the Filipino people, I thank you for your service. May you continue doing your best in all the endeavors that you are given and inspire your fellow airmen and airwomen to do the same. As your Commander-in-Chief, I am proud to see the great distance that we and that the PAF has flown to ensure the security and sovereignty of our beloved nation. The achievements exemplify the values that the PAF stands for, integrity, excellence, and patriotism. As members of the Philippine Air Force, you must always uphold these values as a custodians of our skies, entrusted with the task of upholding our national interests, protecting our people, and defending our territory. Your service also goes far beyond conflict, extending into the depths of calamity and humanitarian crises where you have selflessly extended a helping hand to those in need. And through the years, you have also supported the Philippine Army and other law enforcement agency, agencies in upholding internal security, making our community safe from various threats. I reiterate that this administration is committed to strengthening the armed forces, including the Philippine Air Force, through the acquisitions under the AFP modernization program. Ladies and gentlemen, the days ahead will not be easy and will demand every ounce of our strength and our resilience. The winds of change signal geopolitical challenges around our region and other parts of the world that as yet affect us. The Philippine Air Force Maritime Air Patrol missions are thus essential in upholding our territorial integrity and safeguarding Philippine maritime zones. I wish nothing but the best for the Philippine Air Force as it continues to soar to greater heights. May you also remain united in purpose, indomitable in spirit, and unwavering in your dedication to protect our beloved Republic. Once again, happy anniversary to the Philippine Air Force. Maraming salamat at mabuhay 
ang hukbong himpapawid ng Pilipinas. Magandang tanghali po sa inyo na. Thank you, sir, for that very inspiring message. At this juncture, the President will be presented with a memento by the Commanding General, Philippine Air Force. fighter aircraft capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat missions given during the commemoration of the 76th founding anniversary of the Philippine Air Force. At this point, we shall now proceed to the photo session. May I request the other principals on stage to please stand to join in our photo session. I also request everyone to kindly compress to the center for a group photo session. Sirs, ma'am, kindly compress to the center for a group photo session. Thank you, sirs. May you request our guest of honor and other principal on stage, so please proceed upstairs for the continuation of this program. Please rise for the singing of the Philippine Air Force hymn to be followed by the singing of the Himno ng Kawal Pilipino. Thank you. 
please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments, we shall witness the different air assets of the Philippine Air Force capable of conducting training, combat, combat support, and HADR operations. These are manned and min historic milestone of the Philippine Air Force. On behalf of the Commanding General Philippine Air Force, Lieutenant General Stephen P. Pareño, we thank you for being part of this milestone in the history of the Philippine Air Force. Magandang tanghali po at mabuhay tayong lahat! Thank you, sirs. At this point, we would like to invite our BBIPs for a Samtus lunch at the Mabuhay Lounge. Food will likewise be served for the other guests here at the Haribon Hangar. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the President of the Republic of the Philippines and the Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. <laughs> 